Now I add some more names. Uh, I'll go to some B. So there is no B. Now C. I'll add some names here. C. So some names I had here. So street and location. So Hyderabad, Andhra. I use the existing city now. I will not add new cities so that we know we can easily understand how the sorting works. Right? I will now put K. Right? Street. I will use the same place. I will just say maybe Tamil Hyderabad, Hyderabad, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. Right? So like this I have added now. I will come back to I now. So I will say Bangalore, Karnataka, India. So now I just added this. Now this is one set of data. This is another set of data. It is in a in a same sheet. I have given it in the two different uh, places. Right. So now I like to sort this sheet, this particular data alone. I can now sort the entire data as a whole. I can sort only this data. I can also sort only this data. I can do it in any way I want. So how do I do that? So one here everything is about blocking. If I want the whole data, click on this left extreme. It will select all the data. Or like this, I select here. All the columns are uh, the columns that I have selected is A to F, all the rows in that column. If I want that data alone, mark it like this. Left click, drag and drop. That means uh, this both the set of data I am blocking now. Now I like here this kind of a data now. I am doing a sorting now. Now I click on sort. So my data has a header. So you can see that by default, the data, the, the first line, the previous line to the first selection is taken as a header. These are all very important. It is not always the row one is considered as a header. For example, if I wrongly select a data like this, right, I have, I have ignored the first row. If I wrongly select the data like this, if I put my data as a header, you can see the utils, provoker, so this is mean selected as a header now. So you have to be very careful on how you are choosing the header. So in this case, I block including the header and I am instructing my sorting option. I click on the sorting option. I say my data as header. That means whatever the portion I have selected, that, is a, that has a header built in. Right? Now I say first is country. I add level. Then I want state. I add level, then I want city, I add, then I want name. See, I can have n number of levels added for sorting. So if I say OK, now you can see India, this is the first sorting. In that Andhra, A to Z. In that A to Z. Right? Because Tamil, see Chennai cannot be in the top because Tamil, it has come under Tamil now. So see, even though it is C, Bangalore, Karnataka, because it is comes under K, it is not in the top. Why Hyderabad H is in the top? Because of Andhra. So this is multiple level, column level sorting. And then within this Andhra, name is sorted, CV. Within Delhi, Abdul is selected. Within Karnataka, Imran and Ulas is selected. Within Maharashtra, Venki is selected. 
within Tamil Nadu, Karthik and Vardarajan are Vardarajan is selected. Last USA, Vinod is selected. So this selection happens based on the level at which you start. The same thing I am trying to change now. I go to undo operation. I have undo means control is that. Now what I do is I I like to sort only name by name irrespective of country. I don't want country to be sorted. I want name. You can see now A C I K U V. This is sorted based on name alone. Forget about country, state or city. So today what we have seen is a sorting operation. Right? This is the basic things that is required in the Excel apart from data entry. Data entry, anybody can do the data entry. Right? I will meantime now I will answer some of the questions. If you have more questions, please let me know. Put it onto the questionnaire. Uh, can we not select from F2 when we are sorting? So can we not select? So this he is talking about I think the previous example. Can I not select like this? It all depends on what is your my header portion. So my header, my data has headers is what it decides. Here if I uncheck this, you can see now F2 onwards it is selected because you said if my data doesn't have a header. So header is not shown even though country is there, country is not shown now. Because you have selected my data as now has headers, you unselected it. The same thing if I choose when my first selection before I click on sort, I selected including country, I click on sort, you can see now continue with current selection, you can now see the country because my data has headers. If I uncheck it, country is also selected. That is my original selection. Right? So here the sorting, the way you select the data is very, very important. Please remember if I select only this column and if I ignore the warning that he has given, then what happens is only this column is sorted irrespective of this. The relationship is not maintained. Right? That is one disadvantage, but you have to be careful on that. There is another question. There is an example, I think it is like a lab. Vehicle service to be done after three months or kilometers, it reaches daily, we enter the kilometers and it, when it reaches or overcome date or kilometer, Excel have to inform us or highlight perfectly possible. This is perfectly possible. Right? So it is possible how to do it. Well, when we come to the functions and manipulations of uh, conditional functions, you can see now here in uh, formulas, uh, I go to home, conditional formatting. I can use, take the help of conditional formatting and I can do the job that you want to do. Right? May not be the same example. We can take some other example, but equivalent to this. You want a date and function? and you want that to be managed. It is possible to be done. Right? So we will see it in subsequent classes. Put all your questions like this so that I can remember, I can take that itself as an exercise. So that it is a customer driven class. Right? If for Excel, I am not keeping any particular agenda. Kindly clarify the difference between Excel, XLS, XLM, XLSB. XLS is the older version, the version of 2003 up to 2003 XLS. 2007 onwards XLX because the formatting or the way the structure is changed, there is a request a conversion from the old data to the new data. XLSM, I am yet to come out with that exactly what it is. XLSB, these are all related to maybe versions but I have to know which version that formatting is. So in, in another uh, simple reason, whenever there is a structural change, so he is keeping a different extensions to differentiate between the old structure to the new structure. That's all. XLS was the structure supported up to 2003 version of XLS. Yes, XLS X is the version supported from 2007 onwards. 
right? XLS M and B, I'm not sure about which exactly the versions, whether it is really exist or not, I have to check up and then let you know. I have come across up to XLS X, right? Perfect. So these are all the questions that are asked in today's class. So I am going to end this session with this today. Tomorrow we will get into more with the numbers, managing with numbers and then doing some totaling etc etc. Right? In that we will also see how to do some formatting as well. Formatting of cells like bold, this, make a border, all those stuffs we will try to see it as we go. Right? So, uh, you can give your feedback as well into this questionnaire. So, that helps us a lot. Uh, mail ID. Uh, anyway, I will type the mail ID now in the questionnaire itself. So, you can put your feedback or your additional things to all. Right? To this mail ID, of course, you can send it across. Uh, pivot table and we look up when can we expect. I hope it will be happening on fourth day and that is my plan. It can happen on third day or it might go into fifth day first session. So that it depends on the other activities that we are doing. So V lookup, horizontal lookup and pivot table will be one session. Uh, that hopefully that will be on uh, fourth class. Eight classes in total from the day today it is starting. If required, we may extend the class. It all depends on the coverage. We are not uh, very we are not fixing that eight hours as the minimum time, but we might extend if we are not able to cover the certain portions which are important. Covering macros, yes, we are covering macros. That uh, we said it will be on five, six, seven in this period. Saturday, Sunday, no classes, only on working days this time. Right? Between 4 and 5 is our duration of the class. Uh, Saturdays and then Sundays, no classes. So, we will be having uh, Wednesday this starts. So, next Friday uh, or it will go up to Monday or Tuesday. I am not sure. Right? Sometimes we may extend the timing of the class if to cover it, if you are all fine with it, of course, we will take your opinion before doing that. Right? You have to be slightly flexible because of the nature of the session is all about. And another important thing that I like to point is because I, I have certain familiarity, if I am going fast, you people have to come back and you have to ask the questions. If you want me to repeat, you have to tell me that you have to repeat. Uh, just a curious question, how many of you has used uh, Excel? How many of you new to Excel? Just raise your hand. Very new to Excel. That will give me a, a hint on how I have to proceed. If anybody is new, please raise your hand. Right. Feel free because that is the one which makes the session interesting. Okay. Uh, how many of you are intermediate? You are not expert, you are not uh, completely aware of it, but you have used basic things like uh, we may not use conditional formatting, but you are used entering the data in the Excel like that. You may not have used formulas, etc. How many of you are like that? Oh, good. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So, how many of you have IT background? I mean development or testing background. If you are, how many of you not having IT background? Just raise your hand. So non-IT people, just raise your hand. That also helped me a lot when I try to explain certain things to you. For non-IT people, uh, one important point that you people have to be careful is when I come to the macros, don't get confused. Or try to just take it as it is. Don't feel uh, different because automatically it will make you to learn. Perfect. That's also fine. Uh, do you all use? Uh, you do you all need Excel in your day-to-day -day activity? How many say yes? 
Do you all feel that the need of Excel is there in your day-to-day -day activities? Yes means please raise your hand that will give me a percentage of people raising it yes. Okay, perfect. Good. So I'll try my best to cover as much as possible. I'll take it as three levels. For me, the advanced or it is not like a topic wise I'll cover. For me, basic means which is required in our day-to-day -day operations like sorting, etc. Even though some people say sorting is an advanced topic, but it is not advanced as per me because it is required in our day-to-day -day activity. Intermediate, I'll take it as some people who manages some data and trying to do some sum operations, multiplication functions. They try to use certain functions. I'll cover certain important functions which we use in our day-to-day -day operations. How to apply a formula like copying the formula with multiple rows. So those kind of things are called intermediate. Macros I considered as a most advanced. Macros, VLOOKUP, etc. I considered as a most advanced. So most advanced sessions will be in the last portion of the class. First two to, uh, two to three uh, hours will be of basic, I call it as basic. Four and five will be of intermediate. Six or four, five, six will be of intermediate. Seven, eight will be of advanced. It, all, it can change as well. Will you be showing some examples? Everything I will take an examples. It will be a case study. Here the case study is with non-numeric data. For numeric data, I have enough of our own metrics. I use that so that you have a chunk of data. So I don't want to create the data because it's all waste of time. Pre-created data I use for metrics and reporting purpose. I may not use this data, creation of data. For explaining certain features, I will uh, create data with two or three lines so that the understanding is fine. But actual metrics, where it is really been used, I will take the actual data that will give a feel of how effective it is for you. That's how I am planning to take the session. Right? Is this clear? Good. Uh, feel free. One, one, what I really need from you all is, that's a support I expect from you all is, feel free to intervene and put your questions. Right? That is the one which makes that learning interesting. In online session of learning, one disadvantage is, you cannot, I cannot see your face, I cannot see your reaction of your learning. So that means you need to be open for yourself and you feel free. I'm not, that's why I'm not putting the name or anybody's name or anything in my uh, session. The reason is because I don't want your, you feel that it is a weak point. I don't want that to be exposed. Right? Don't worry. Please feel free, have a nice day. Tomorrow we'll meet at 4 o'clock and we'll continue the session. Have a nice day, have a great learning. Thanks a lot, bye. See you. A same link for all the days. The link that we are given, uh, in case if you are extending it, we will do it one day before so that after expiry the session will not be available. Bye, see you. I hope you get reminders on just one hour or two hours before. Bye. Have a nice day.